Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be discussing the Poketch. Now this was a feature that was originally on the bottom screen of the DS in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And obviously with the Switch, they've had to put it on the one and only screen that the Switch has. We saw this in one of the more recent Pokemon BDSP trailers, and it doesn't look the best. I'm not saying the Poketch itself looks like the features are lacking. I just don't know how I feel about how it's being implemented. Let's discuss it. Now listen, I think it goes without saying, this was always going to be a weird implementation. When you're dealing with DS games or remakes of DS games, you have to really compensate for all of the things that were put on the bottom screen. Now this was done on the DS so you could see more of the gameplay, so you could have more arbitrary features moved out of the way, and just so you could introduce touchscreen controls, because this was the DS's big appeal. But when you're trying to take a game that originally came out on the DS, and you're putting it onto a system with one screen, that can become a little bit confusing. And it's a very simple way that they've done it. First of all, they've remade what the Poketch looks like, and I think it looks fine. It's, it's, it's perfectly acceptable, it's nothing crazy. If it was up to me, I would love for them to have done what they did in the trailer for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, not the trailer, the opening a movie for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where you could see on the Poke Nav the original Poke Nav, the original intro of, of Ruby Sapphire and Emerald where Professor Birch introduces himself. I think it would have been really cool if they had given us the original looking Poketch, just HD'd and put on the screen. They didn't, they've remade it from the ground up with 3D models instead of sprites, etc, etc. The Poketch itself and what you're seeing on the screen looks fine. The issue is that it kind of just fades in and out on the main screen in one of the corners. It appears as if you're going to be able to move it at will, I would assume in options, to kind of be in the corner that you prefer. And there's a point in the trailer as well where it kind of just Part of it is faded and transparent to the point where you can see the background behind it, but the, the, the monitor itself, the little the screen of the Poketch is still there. It just looks a little janky and it looks a little arbitrary. And this is one of the moments where I need to be critical of BDSP because the Poketch is something that they need to get right. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. And if you've been a subscriber, you've heard this and I apologize, but subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time. It would really do a ton to show me that you guys are enjoying these Pokemon BDSP videos and that you want to see more in the future. And it lets me make more because the more of you guys who I know are enjoying them, the more and easier it is for me to put more time into these videos. So if you're enjoying and you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button today and become a part of the team. Now, one could say that it's nitpicking to criticize the Poketch. Obviously, the Poketch is not the gameplay itself. It's not how the overworld looks. It's not how Pokemon battles go about being done. It's not how the story is played out. But the Poketch is home to some of the more important features in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum in the original games. You could view your team at any time from the Poketch. You could see their happiness level. It was the dowsing machine, so you could find hidden items. There was a variety of different apps that you could get as you progressed through the main campaign to add to your Poketch. And a lot of these are very useful. There was a berry tracker, for example. You could look at a map of the Sinnoh region and see where you have berries planted and how close they were to being able to be picked. There were a lot of different really good features. And I think that it's going to turn some people off that the Poketch is so arbitrarily just added onto the screen. I think that this is a feature that you want to incentivize. You want people to use the Poketch. It has a lot of really good features. It is something that if the player uses, will allow the player to have a better experience, a more whole experience with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It makes the game better. It makes your experience as a player that much more fulfilling. You can utilize all of the day-to-day -day events using the Poketch. You can look at your team and monitor your team. You can even tap on them as they float around in that strange little floaty thing, the floaty app that was in the original Poketch, and you can hear their cries. There's a lot of fun attributes to it. When you're going after Pokemon, roaming Pokemon in the post game, you can track where they are in the Sinnoh region on your Poketch. These are a lot of centrally important features and it doesn't look the best now listen 
We have not seen the options for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl yet. We haven't seen how customizable these features are going to end up being. But from what we've already seen, they need to do better with this all, I really think. Now here's the thing. I don't want to speculate on how they should do it. I'm going to go off of what we've already seen. And what we've seen is that it can appear in either the top right corner or the bottom right corner. That's all we've seen so far. And another feature that I mentioned before that we've seen from it is that the outer portions of the Poketch screen will also kind of become transparent when you're not using it. Here's what I think they need to do in order to make this passable. Because I'm not going to criticize and say, oh, this is what they should have done. Because that helps nobody. This is the way that the Poketch is used. So let's figure out a way to make it better. The first thing is that it needs to be toggleable. And the reason it needs to be toggleable is I do not want to have to go into my settings, my options, in order to turn it off when I don't want to see it. I think that's lazy game design. And I think that that's arbitrary and it's, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It's a nuisance. So there needs to be a dedicated button on the Switch, whether it's on one of the two Joy-Con Actually, yes, it has to be on the Joy-Con and on the Pro Controller. You need to be able to turn the Poketch on and off. So there need to be moments where if you don't want to see it on the screen, you can hit, let's use as an example, the right bumper on the back of the Joy-Con. You can hit that button and it goes away and you have a fully clear screen where you're just looking at the overworld and your character. That is the way that they need to handle the Poketch. The other thing that they need to do is they need to make the outside, you know, design portion of the Poketch completely transparent, meaning they need to eliminate it completely. There needs to be an option in settings where you can go in and just see the screen because it doesn't take up a ton of room, but it takes up enough that you'd wish you could just make it a little bit smaller. And getting rid of those bezels, as I'm going to call them, would be the way that you could do that. The next thing that you need to be able to do is resize it. You need to be able to make it bigger and smaller in the options. I think this would go a long way to allowing players to customize their experience, and it would allow them to decide how often they're going to use the Poketch. If you're someone who doesn't get a lot of use out of it, you can get rid of it altogether with a toggle, or you can make it a lot smaller. I think this would solve a lot of the problems with it, and it would let the, the user, the gamer, uh, us, actually have a choice. And here's the last thing that I think they need to do with the Poketch, or else I'm going to be complaining about this in my eventual diamond and my brilliant diamond and shining pearl review. You need to make it work well when you're not using a touchscreen. We've already seen some of the gameplay that makes it feel like there's going to be a lot of touchscreen elements, and that was fine on the DS. The DS was a handheld system. You always played handheld. And it was on a touch screen. Now listen, I understand that the Switch is a touch screen. I understand that you can play every single Switch game in handheld mode. I'm not debating that. But there's plenty of people who want to have their Pokemon experience on a big screen. You need to make sure that those pointer controls are succinct. You need to make sure that those pointer controls are good enough that they are able to be played without getting on the nerves of the player character. We don't want another let's go situation where certain ways of play are locked behind what mode you're using the Switch. That's not good game design and that's not utilizing the Switch's features well. So those are the things that I think they need to do with the Poketch. And I needed to make this video because the Poketch is an important part of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It was an important part of the original games. And to have it be something that is useful and relevant in the remake is a good thing. They just have to get it right. And it looked weird from the trailer. I would love to know what you guys think, though. What do you think of what we saw of the Poketch? And what do you think of my additions and almost solutions to how we can make the Poketch work better? I would love to hear from you down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. It does a ton to show me that you're enjoying these videos and that you want to see more. Subscribing also does that too. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.